Point number three in terms of deriving benefits. And that is having discussions with other individuals. Having discussions with other individuals. And taking the time to discuss these matters. You'll see that as human beings, we are very dependent upon our interaction with other people. We're very dependent upon our environments to understand our realities. And this really comes into play likewise when understanding the Qur'an and the Sunnah. That the more you discuss certain aspects of the Qur'an, the more you discuss certain aspects of the Sunnah, the better you will understand them and the more you will be able to derive benefits from them. Deriving inspiration from other people. This is point number three. And point number four is actually doing research upon these matters. Actually doing research upon these matters. And seeing how other scholars actually understood this. So for example, you're studying tafsir, go back to the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, available in pretty much any Muslim spoken language now. Likewise, go back to the translations of the Quran. When you understand translations of the Quran, you'll realize that translations are not actually literally translations of the Quran but they're translations of the meanings of the Qur'an. So this is a preliminary level or surface level tafsir of the Qur'an itself when you go back to the translation. Studying the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, go back to Imam Nawi's 40 hadith. You'll see a lot of people have explained it and there are quite a few explanations of it. So derive benefits by going back to those books.